All right, Shalom. We're going to begin by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakah Kadash. We'll say double honor to our apostles and our elders over our great millstone. Shalom to all you Akim out there that's teaching and living the word of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai and all truth and sincerity. And uh, through the Spirit of the Lord, uh, got his brothers again together to do another lesson, man. And, um, and what we're going to go into pretty much is prophecy, man. All right, prophecy concerning the future events and uh, events of a destruction that are set to happen to America, okay? And everybody that's over here in America, man, all right? Mainly the ones uh, that are living ungodly today, the wicked and all the ones out there that's not walking in the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, man. All right, and that includes uh, these heathens automatically. But uh, in this in this uh, lesson, pretty much, we're gonna focus on kind of the destruction of our people, man. All right, because this destruction is coming. It's for you too, man. Two thirds of you, that is. Two thirds of you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, you are the Israelites according to the Bible, God's chosen people. But you're not walking in the spirit of the Most High in these last days, and that's why the Heavenly Father is about to bring all these plagues and all manner of destruction and turmoil and tribulation upon you, man, for your wickedness, man, all right? And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be kind of based around um, the movie, the, the, the Purge, the first Purge, okay? Because in that movie, it, it showed you various elements of uh, prophecy in it, man, okay? So, Lord willing, we're just going to bring out some precepts uh, uh, concerning um, that movie, man, all right? Because like I said, it relates to prophecy, man, all right? And that movie shows you how uh, so-called white men is going to come against our people, man. All right, it shows you uh, a lot of various things, but uh, uh, without any further ado, first we'll get uh, Psalm 17 and uh, 13. Everybody, yeah. Psalm, said Psalm 17? Yeah, that's Psalm 17. Psalm 17? All right, because you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you Israelites, you have enemies, man, okay? You up here in, in, in America thinking... Um, you can come together with everybody and everybody's one and it's about the human race. No, man. It's never, no. It's, that's not how the Heavenly Father established things, man. All right? From the foundation of the world, he separated the nations, man. Okay? He made you the chosen and everybody else is your damn enemy, man. All right? Now we're here in the land of America under the under captivity of our enemy, man. Our, our chiefly, chiefly our enemy is a so-called white man, okay, who is Esau Edom, okay? And the Heavenly Father in these last days is going to use this, this devil, all right, because so-called white man is a devil. He's going to use this devil to come down upon our people, man, and be the main one to issue these, this, this destruction on our, our people, man. Go ahead. This is our Psalms 17 and 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. Right, so you have... Uh, two types of wicked in the Bible, okay? But the main, the wicked in the scriptures is the so-called white man. You have the wicked amongst our people, but the, the wicked, the devil, Satan in the flesh is the so-called white man, all right? Uh, who is Esau Edom today, man. And he is the sword of the Heavenly Father. He is the instrument that the Heavenly Father uses on the planet Earth today to bring about uh, great destruction and punishment upon our people, man, Okay? And uh, I just want to establish that, you know, because you got our people have to understand that we have enemies, and our enemy has plans set uh, set in place to destroy us, man. He has this so-called new world order agenda in place, man, where he has all these little uh, agendas and, and all of that on the books, you know. If you have uh, looked up Agenda Twenty One, man, that's a depopulation agenda, man. Okay, and it's mainly aimed at you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? Because one thing that they showed you in the Purge movie is just that, man. It shows you that these devils have these plans in the works, man, because it told you that. That's why it's called the first Purge, because these devils, that was the first thought in their mind was getting rid of these niggas, man, okay? So what they did was establish this whole Purge thing, you know, to first and foremost target low-income housing housing areas and, and, and shit like that, okay? And who is that talking about? That's talking about you so-called Negroes, man, and Latinos and Native Americans, man. You are the poor. You're the downtrodden in the society, man. You're the lowly, okay? 
and the so-called white man, pretty much he sees you as um, useless eaters. He sees you as just, just useless, man. He wants to get rid of you, man, and destroy you, all right? Because this devil, he has a hard and stern hatred in his heart for you tribes, man, okay? And, he, and the, the Lord gave him the power in these last days to put certain things into play so that he can bring about destruction upon you, okay? Out of his hatred. But really, it's the Lord's destruction, man. It's the Lord do putting in the heart of this damn devil to uh, bring about all these things to destroy two thirds of you, man. Okay? I got precepts for that, too. Go ahead. This is uh, Job 20, uh, 19 and 29. Be ye afraid of the sword, for the wrath bringeth the punishments of the sword, that ye may know there is a judgment. Mm. And the sword is a uh, the sword is Esau or Edom, because uh, Esau being the uh, the uh, the wicked, it tells you here in uh, Psalms uh, Psalm seventeen and thirteen it says, "Arise, Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is my sword." So his sword, when it's coming through, it's going to be coming through through the wicked, and we all know that's Edom. So. Just like this brother said, that's what the purge is all about. It's to condition you people to see, seeing your your future. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly, bro. That's right. Exactly. Now we can get uh, get Revelations twelve and twelve. Fuck with Sean. Did you want to get back to anybody? Huh? Where are we going? Anybody, anybody. All right. Twelve and twelve. Yeah. Here, I, I, you got it. Yeah, it says, uh, Revelations twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he hath but short time. See that? So it mentions that the devil is going to come down upon you. Who is the devil? That's the so-called white man. The word that says devil means deceiver, man. Okay? Because this devil, this so-called white man, has deceived the entire world, man, and, right. and tricked the entire world in various different ways, man. And he's definitely tricked and deceived you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans into thinking this devil is something good to look up to. All right, he's deceived you and thinking you African Americans, thinking you black, thinking you this and that. But truly, the so-called white man knows you, the Israelites, man. He been known, all right? He knew before we knew, okay? But he's, like we say, he's the damn devil, man. He's not, he's gonna withhold that type of information from us, man. Okay, because that means if, if we if we wake when we wake up to our power again, that's his downfall, you know. So it said that the so-called white man though is gonna come down with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. He has he knows that he has but a short time, meaning he knows his kingdom is about to be taken out of out of place, man. He know he's about to be removed off of his throne, man. He knows that uh, uh, the heavenly Father and His Son Yahweh and Yahweh shall exist. And he knows that they're going to soon come down, all right, crack them clouds and, and, and wage war on this damn devil, man. All right, so in a, in a, in a last, uh, what do you call it, like in a last, uh, last. his last hoorah, hurrah, yeah, huh? yeah, his last hoorah, what he's going to do is he's going to come down upon our people with great wrath, man. It tells you in the book of 2nd Ezra, 16th chapter, that he's going to be like madman. We're going to get that later. Uh, I'm thinking of it. We're going to, um, yeah, we'll get that later. But he's going to come down with uh, 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 like a madman, spare not. They showed you that in the movie, man. All right? It's a scene in the movie where uh, 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 the so-called white man and, and a few militiamen are just going down and uh, going up and down uh, Jake's uh, projects in the building, just gunning them all down, man. Door to, going door to door, man. Lighting everybody up in the room, man. Okay? This damn devil, man, he has a lot of hatred for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Yahweh Shemiah Shai is going to allow him to act out his hatred in this last ditch hoorah, okay, so to speak, man. You want to say something? Uh, yeah, um, it also says, um, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, so that's, I mean, that means everybody yeah. around the whole world, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because during that time, that's when the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast, is going to be implemented. So if you don't take that chip, you're either going to be put to death right on the spot or sent to a concentration camp. But it's going to be destruction played out throughout the whole world. That's right. Yep, yep. Yeah, he's right, man. Destru dest dest destruction that's coming is for the entire world, man. Right. You know? And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you Israelites, you, you are around the world too, man. Right. You all, you spread throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Right. So wherever you are, man, this destruction is, is definitely going to hit you, man, in a bad way. 
this devil's going to be right there, man, for the Lord to uh, uh, put the spirit on him to uh, inflict great, incredible punishment upon you, man, for your for your wickedness, man, for your transgression. Okay? Uh, that was it on that. We can go ahead to uh, Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30. And, uh, I'll that for that. Somebody can grab Jeremiah 30. Jeremiah 30 and... We're talking about Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, uh, it's Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, so it say, <coughs> read it again, Brother Sean. It says, this is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Yeah, so that day that it's talking about is, is the great day of the Lord, man. All right, the point in time where the Heavenly Father is going to release a lot of destruction out here in America, man, and the entire world, okay? So that's that great day, and in the times that are approaching, man, it's going to be a day like none other. It tells you that in, in, in Daniel's 12th chapter, in the first verse, man, okay? This it's, it's going to be, it's going to top, this, it's going to top all the, the destruction that's ever happened in history, man, okay? The Heavenly Father is going to outdo himself, man, with, with this destruction, man. All right, and it's going to be appointed mainly to you, to you tribes, man. Okay, and it says it's the time of Jacob's trouble, and that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. You're, you're, you're Jacob, okay? You're Israel, all right? The Israelites, man, and it's going to be the time of, of your trouble, man. The time of your calamity, man, and, and, and pain and agony, man, because you, you, you're acquiescing to this world, man. All right, and you're trying to. Uh, uh, Hold hand in hand with the so-called white man, man, and be down with this Western culture, this Western, these Western philosophies, and these Western ideologies, man. All right, going after idols. All right, worshiping Cesare Borgia in, in in the Christian church, man. All right, worshiping a uh, 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 Buddha and, and all these idols out here, man. Okay, a lot of you niggas are faggots and homos. It's a lot of lesbians out here. Okay, transgenderism. All this shit is on the rise, man, and a lot of you tribes are are, are are extremely down with this, man. All right? Some of the biggest faggots are our people, man. That's a damn shame, man. The scriptures talk about how uh, uh, um, you've outdone the deeds of the wicked, man. All right? And your vessels that are, you're, you're useless vessels, man. You're useless to the Heavenly Father, man. So what else is left for a useless vessel, man? The Spirit of the Lord can't dwell within you. He's just going to destroy you, man. All right. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, you want me to keep going? Oh, did you want to say something? Uh, I got a, uh, I got one in uh, First Peter's uh, four and seventeen. It says, oh, for "That's lucky, bro." I just want to hit this uh, part right here. Um, in uh, the last part, it said, "But he shall be saved oh, out of it." You yeah. know, kind of, and that's talking about uh, the elect, man, the one third of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, the uh, 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 the men of the Lord, the prophets, man. All right, 144,000 and the one third, okay, that are deemed for, for salvation in these last days, man. All right, we're the ones that are going to be saved out of the time of Jacob's trouble, man, because the Jacob's trouble is mainly for two thirds, man. It's not for us. The Lord said is that uh, uh, He's going to save us in the time of trouble, man, because we stood stiffly for His name, man. We stood stiffly for His word, man. We continue to prophesy and, 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 uh, uh, Try to wake up our people, man. We were watchmen to the nation of Israel. So the Heavenly Father is going to reward us with pretty much protection, man. All right? When when the Lord brings all this destruction upon our uh, upon two-thirds of our people, man. All right? You got yourself. Yeah, I got uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? And of the righteous scarcely be saved. Where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God commit the keeping of their souls to him and well-doing as unto a faithful creator. You know, and the point being that if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear, man? You know, like the brother was saying, you know, we're barely going to make it out, you know? Yeah. You know? That, that, I just wanted to say that. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> read the part where it talks about... Um, 
right to scarcely be saved, where yeah. the godly and sinner agree. Okay. Uh, it says, and if the righteous, this is a uh, First Peter's uh, four and eighteen, and if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Yeah. So pretty much what that means is, like. If, if we're good, how much more is the destruction going to be upon you, Jakes, man? The ungodly, that's not walking in this truth, man. If we're scarcely going to be saved, how much, what, what, what pretty much, what are you going to be going through, you know? And that's, <laughs> that's basically to say that you're going to be going through all matter of hell and chaos, man, on the planet Earth, man. You know? Uh, can you grab uh Second Ezra 15. You got it. 14, 15. You got it. Yeah, got it. Right. Cause that movie, The Purge, is pretty much just uh, it was like a foreshadowing. It's it's, it's what Esau does to uh, it's like predictive programming, man. Yeah. All right, pretty much showing people what's going to happen before it happens, it's man. Subliminal Exactly, it's subliminal, man. You know. But, you know, it's, it's, it just shows you our people are just completely gone and blind, man. You know, and that's what we're here for. We're here to tell our people that, look, that's not just a movie that you're watching, man. That's going to be reality real soon, okay? While you niggas, you, you quick to go watch a movie like the fucking Black Panther, man, in and, 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 and Wakanda and shit all day. Wakanda forever, all right? But you, a lot of our people, they're not going to watch The Purge, man. They're not going to watch movies like that, real stuff, because our people are in the mentality of, of folly, man, and we're just lost out here, man. When it comes to serious situations and, and serious, serious things coming to the world, our people ain't trying to, ain't trying to hear that, man. All right. Oh, this is Second Ezra 15 and 14. It says, "Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw not, and one people shall stand up and fight against another." And swords in their hands. Yeah, so this is pretty much going into the destruction that's, that the Lord has set for America, man. Right. All right, it says, woe to the world, man. All right, it didn't say uh, uh, peace and, and happiness to the world, man. Right. All right, it said woe, meaning destruction, man, because there's a time, in it, a time for everything on the planet Earth, man. There's a time to love, there's a time to hate, there's a time to uh, uh, be at peace, and there's a time for war. All right, so, and we're in that time of hate, man. We're in a time of war. We're not, we're not in a time of love, man. Read again. It says, For the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Right, so one people shall stand up to fight against another, man. With swords in their hands, man. Talking about the gun. Right, and, and, and the sword could be anything, man. It could be an actual sword, it could be knives, or anything, man. But in this modern day, the modern day sword is talking about a gun, too, man. All right, so there's going to be actually war. Uh, 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 the so-called white man, all right, and our people are actually going to be in the streets out here, all right, gunning each other down, man. All right, race wars, man. All right, and they showed you that in, in in the movie too, man. All right, how the so-called white man he came in, you know, and and those those troops that came in, you could just tell that they were some type of neo-Nazi. Uh, faction or, or, or whatever they were, man. They had uh, racist tendencies, I guess you can say, you know. And they, but and you seen Jake, they were ready to stand up too against them, man. And that's that's in the scriptures, man. All right, picking up guns to go at it, go at it, go at each other, man. All right. You read verse sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Yep, they're they talking about uprisings in in this country, man. All right, there's going to be civil war. All right, real soon, ain't nobody going to give a damn about what these government officials are going to be saying out here, man. It's just going to be all manner of chaos, man. All right, because it's going to be economic collapse going on. Like it's going to read, it's going to be famines and plagues. People are just going to be focused on the mind state of surviving, man. They're not going to give a damn about what their mayor has to say or their governor has to say or even what the president has to say, man. It's going to be just... All hell and chaos out here going on. People are going to be trying to survive, and that's it, man. Yeah, I, I got a word of sedition, too. The definition for sedition means conduct or speech inciting people to rebel against the authority of a, of a state or monarch, so your government, yes, to rebel right. against it. Mm -hmm. And the word rebellion, when you 
uh, going to the war means back to war, man. So these people are going to be rebelling against this government, man. All right, especially our people. We're going to be backed into a corner so much, man. This devil's going to put so much hell on us, man. That and you can only push a. a, a they say you only can push a, a rat or a mouse into a corner so much to eventually to the point where they're going to lash out, man. All right, it's going to get to that point with our people, man. Where they gonna lash out at this this government, at this damn devil, man, and fight back, okay? Because they're gonna be they're gonna be doing all type of shit to us, man. All right, inflicting all type of hell on us, man, to the point where we gonna we gonna have to fight back, man. That's where these race wars come in. All right. It says, for there should be sedition among men and in invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, that's your martial law, man. Right. All right? When martial law comes down, man, everything is going to be shut is going to be shut down, man. Right. All right? You're not when it says you're not going to be able to go into another city. That's talking about there's going to be blockades, man. Blockades on the freeways, blockades on these uh the the main streets out here. All right? It's going to be everything is going to be shut down and on lock it's going to be on lockdown, man. Yeah. All right? For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. And that's the reason why, man. That's why the reason all the, why the Lord is bringing all this stuff, man, is because the pride of you Americans is at an all-time high. All right? And you people have nothing to be proud of, man. First and foremost, like the scriptures say, you're earth and ashes, man. And the Lord asks the question, is why is earth and ashes proud, man? You know? You people don't mind the, 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 the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? You just go about your wickedness thinking nothing is going to happen to you, all right? But you, you're in for a, a rude awakening, okay? And you people are, like you said, you people are, are, are very, very prideful, man. You got a lot of homos, and, and you got a gay pride month, man. A gay pride month, man, that just passed in June, man, all right? So that just shows you that the, the, and, and, and homosexuality is an, an extreme abomination, man. <laughs> That's a, a very disgusting and a, a horrible act that you can commit, all right, as a man or as a woman, man. It goes both ways, man, okay? So, hey, and you people are proud of that, man, so that's going to uh, bring about your destruction, man, all right? As well as other things you people are proud about, man, okay? Go ahead. Okay. It says, the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, and spoil their goods, because of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation. Yep. Yeah. Because it's going to be a famine out here, man. Right. Except for the lack of bread, and for great tribulation, man. People are going to be invading each other's homes, invading each other's houses, looking to survive, man. You know? And they're not going to give a damn who's inside, man. If they got swords and guns in their hand, they're going to take what they want, man. All right, including a lot of these martial law troops, man. All right, so they're going to come into you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans' houses. All right, they're going to rape your women. They're going to gun the man down. They're going to shoot your children. And they're going to ransack your homes, man, and see what you got up in there, man. Because it's going to be a lack of bread and a, and a lack of water out here, man. A great famine. Okay? He said, verse 20, Behold, said the Yahweh, I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east, and from Lebanus, to turn themselves one against another and repay the things that they have done to them. Yeah, that was it on that. Yeah, that was it on that. Do um, you have anything, bro? Want to bring something out? Oh, yeah, I got that uh, Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. You know, like uh, you were talking about, you know, there's a time of love, a time of hate. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8. It's a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. And, you know, it was basically, you know, I mean, that's, that's going to be a time of war, you know. So, like, right, right now, it's like the best thing to do is, like, you know, because wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability of thy time, man. So that, that's how we're prepping, you know, with, uh, you know, trying try to stay in the spirit, you know, pushing push out this word. But, I mean, you know, wisdom and knowledge is going gonna, is gonna to hold us down. We're, we're, we're prepping for war right now, as it is, you know. We're already in that mindset that, you know, um, I mean, you got to be in that mindset that you might not make it to tomorrow. You don't know what the Most High has planned for you, you know. 
You just gotta keep keep rolling with whatever. You gotta be thankful for for whatever days you do get, you know, and for whatever you do have, you know. But but we're prepping right now in the mindset that, you know, uh, Lord willing, you know, we're those men and we might make it through, but we don't we don't know what our lot is, you know. But we're we're gonna stay we're gonna stay faithful, you know. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what a lot of our people are not trying to do right now, man. They're not preparing themselves for what's to come, man. All right. But we're out there telling them, we're warning you about what's to come. So really, you have no excuse, all right? This truth is, is, is going throughout the entire world, man, all right? So you, you really have no excuse for your wickedness, man. Now is the time to repent and come back to you. How about Shemiah Shai before the Lord actually uh, closes the breaches, man, before he unleashes the so-called white man, man, okay? That was it. Yeah, was it on there. Yes, sir. Yeah, precept, and this kind of just ties in but we're talking about the uh, sedition and war amongst the government and the, and the people, right? This all ties into an ultimate uh, prophecy that was given in uh, 2 Ezra 6 and 21. It says, And the children of, the, of a year old shall speak, and, and their voices, the women shall... Ch sa which... Uh, salaki. Women with child shall bring forth untimely children of three or four months old, and they shall live and be raised up and um and suddenly sh suddenly shall shown places appear unsown and full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty that's all the uh, trade war stuff going on now we're going to start finding out that a lot of our food is going to be starting getting cut off and we're right. going to start having less food uh let's see so and then uh next it says and the and the trumpet shall give a sound which then every man heareth they shall be suddenly afraid afraid and here's the point that we're, what we're covering at that time shall friend friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and springs of the fountain shall sustain shall stand still and in three hours there shall not they shall not run and whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape, that being the elect of the one-third, uh, and see my salvation and the end of your world. So right there, Ezra was being shown the, the end-time prophecy. So he's seen everything that that, uh, that we're talking about, right? The, the future coming civil war. So if you want a heads up, I, I'd say I'd go watch uh, the, last, or the first purge, right? Right. I have a precept. This is Lamentations 4 and 9. It says, They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. For these pine away, stricken through for one of the fruits of the field. And hey, that's going to happen soon, man. People are going to start starving out here because it's going to be a lack of bread, you know, a lack of food. Because once they stop all these uh, these truckings, because, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how basically food is transported, you know. They, these truckers, they deliver the food into these stores. They get restocked up. But once they stop all that shit, hey, people are gonna start starving, man. And that's why people are gonna start killing each other. Cannibalism is gonna come back in a big fashion. You know, people are gonna start going back to like the ancient times of you know uh, trading and, and bargaining. You know what I'm saying? And that's right. Because the thing is, is ultimately these jobs they're, they're gonna they're gonna stop. Yeah. Cause like I said, it says the grinding shall cease. Yeah. And when the, when the jobs cease. Ultimately, what's going to happen is you're going to have uh, the whole uh, black market come yeah. to come to come to plan. So, if you don't have some sort of trade, if you're just an office worker or, or something, yeah. we don't have any like any uh, tradable good or service that you can people provide. You know, for you women, it, a lot of times it's. I was going to say that too. You, know, you women yeah. is finished, man. That's why it's supposed to say nope. seven women shall cling unto one man, which means completion. Huh. You women, you have no strength. You have you have nothing to defend yourself. So if you don't give with a man of the Lord, then you finished. Right? And if you're not a man of the Lord, you need, you're going to be finished. Yeah, you're going to be finished. <laughs> you basically, shit, when all hell breaks loose, man, if you're not down, if you don't have the spirit of you, how about Shema Shah on you, you fucked out here. God. So, hey, that's why you got to walk, you know, um, you got to walk in fear and trembling, man. You know, and if you are yeah. fucking up, man, hey, just repent and get back on your feet. And I said to myself, you know, just keep striving, man. Take it day by day. Because we need this fleshy body, so you're going to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? You know, me and brother was talking about that earlier. You know, we're not in, these, not in those godly bodies yet. But you got to try your hardest to maintain and walk in, in, in the spirit of Yahweh Shemel You know, it's not hard. It's a challenge. 
You know, a challenge is something you can overcome and, and win. You know. Uh, you any brother, you got brought, brought, brought out uh, Matthew 24 already. No, we yeah. have This is uh, Matthew 24 and 21. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no more even shall be. Yeah. Like, that's just going to be the time, man. It's like, it, it's never been a time that's coming, man. You people ain't never seen, even people that have been a part of war, that you've been in fucking uh, riots. This shit is going to fucking blow your mind, man. Right. Y'all going, y'all going, you going to wish that you, that you were, that you knew the men of the Lord, man. And all you people that have came against the men of the Lord, you going to be fucked too, you know. And let me keep going. This is uh, verse uh, 22. And except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. Hey, it's because of the elect's sake, man, that we gon' we gon' we're gonna be the one Lord will. We are those men. Hey, we gon' we gonna be the ones that's gonna be. We gonna be able to get through that. We gon' we gonna have food. We gonna have shelter. We gonna have women. We gonna have drink, and we gonna have brothers. It's gonna be some of us. We gonna be with each other. It's gonna be some of us. We ain't gonna have nobody. Some of us gonna be by ourselves. You know, some of us may even become martyrs too. You know, yeah, kind of. that was it. Somebody get uh, Isaiah 65. Uh, get a uh, Zechariah 13. Zechariah 13. You can get that first, actually. Zechariah 13. I got it. it says, all right, Zechariah 13. 8. It says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land except Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Yeah. yeah, so two, the two parts is talking about two-thirds of the nation of Israel, man. All right? It said you're going to be cut off and die, man. All right? Because you don't have the blood of your house shy uh, uh, covering you, man. All right? So you pretty much have to pay for your own sins with your own blood, man. And just how your house shy, he paid for the sins of, first and foremost, the elect. Okay? He died for the whole nation. But first and foremost, it's for the sin, the sins of the elect on this side, man. All right, so that we can make it through the evil days, man, and inherit the kingdom. Okay, so two th two thirds of you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're gonna have to be cut off and die, man. All right, and you're gonna die by the way that uh, we we've been mentioning, man. Martial law, troops, famine, all right, plagues, all right. All these things are coming to the earth, man. And it's for your destruction, man. But it said the, the third part. It's going to be brought through the fire, man. Okay? Brought through the fire. I mean, we're going to make it out of here uh, when these missiles drop because that is the, the uh, icing on the cake, so to speak, man. That's when the, the final destruction is, is uh, for America, man, is those missiles, man. All right? But the Lord is going to uh, uh, redeem the two third, uh, uh, the one third, slot it. All right? And bring us through that fire, man. So we won't feel that, man. Okay? It's like it tells you in Job, uh, uh, the Lord uh, uh, will deliver thee in six troubles. Okay, the six troubles represent all the destruction that's coming to America, man. All right, and then it says in in, in seven, uh, uh, um, in seven he shall pretty much uh, deliver, deliver, deliver thee. Yeah, so in that seven represents the complete ju uh, the complete and last judgment, which is those missiles, man. That's right. All right, so Lord is gonna protect us, man. All right, so the elect is gonna be good in these times, man. All right, and that's for you two thirds of our people, man. You're gonna be asked out, man. All right, you don't have a hedge of protection on you, man. All right, the scriptures say that the uh, 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 um, uh, the angels campeth round about them that that fear the heavenly Father, man. That fear you, how about you, meow shy, man. All right, and we fear the Lord, and we showing our fear by going out on the highways and the hedges, man. Preaching, uh, preaching the word, man. Prophesying, okay. We following the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability, man. Okay. And trying to walk in the spirit of your house shy as much as possible, man. All right, because believing and having faith in your house shy is the only way you're making it out of America, man. It's the only way, man. All right, you can't trust in your you can't trust in yourself or trusting a gun or trusting anything carnal, man. You know, even though you're gonna have some of our people out here fighting a uh, so-called white man with the sword, man, but that's their lot, man. You know, that's 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 their lot to fight against the so-called white man and then die at the end, man. You know, in these race wars, man. But as as for the elect, we ain't gotta worry about none of that, man. We ain't gotta worry about picking up guns and fighting these martial law troops, man. You know, because at the end of the day, your heavenly father, he if we do fight, he's gonna give us spiritual power to do it, man. Right. All right? 
So we don't need guns and all of that, man. So we gonna do as, as much as we can right now and, and, and walking in the spirit, man. Because it's, it's, it's like it tells you, to be carnally minded is death, man. To be spiritually, spiritually minded is life and peace, man. So we're being spiritually minded right now in these times, man. So we can receive life, man. We can receive peace, man. All right, receive that salvation when the Lord bring those chariots, man. We get beamed up and taken to our land, okay? And inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. As for two-thirds of our people, they, they're not going to inherit the kingdom, all right? They're going to have to die and be reborn in the kingdom, okay? This verse, can I read it quick? Yeah, right, this verse 9, it says, And I will bring the third part to the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. Right. They shall... Right, and that's also talking about us being spiritually purified in these times, man. He's going to purify our spirits through fire, man, all right, by putting hell on us, man. Because going through hell and uh, uh, tribulation and, uh, uh, bear, you know, bearing your cross like the scriptures talk about, all right, that's all in effect to Persia, man. Get the impurities out of our spirits, man, all right, to, to, to clean us up, man, so that we can be ready and, and, and uh, ready and prepared for the marriage when Yahweh Shai returns, man. All right. So, cause, but as for our people, man, they're just dross and the and, and just you know vain, dry, dull vessels, man. They're clay, dry you know. Bones. Right. They, yeah, they're dry bones, man. They ain't got no water. They ain't got no no spirit. They don't have none of this word within them, man. Yeah. All right. So the Lord, He ain't dealing with them. He ain't trying to purify them, man. They're gonna be purified. By uh, actually being burned, man. Actually feeling that fire, okay? Right. But us, we gonna feel the spiritual fire now, man. Like it tells you, um, we're 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 chastised now in these times, so we're not condemned with the world, man. Right. All right, so we're catching all the one third, the elect is catching all their hell right now, so that we can be saved when those times, when the actual hell and chaos comes to America, man. When Jacob's trouble comes, man. All right. But as for our people, Jacob, you just gonna be out here, man. And like the scripture tell you in Second Ezra, man, you're going to remain in those plagues too, man. All right? All the way up until the end, man. All right? And there ain't going to be no, no remedy for, for this judgment, man, that's coming down, man. All right? No remedy, man. The Lord is going to bring these plagues, and he's going he gonna to fuck you up, and you're going to remain in those plagues, man, until he brings that seven, uh, those missiles, man. Okay? Because that third part, that's all about the elect. And basically, you got to think of it as like, this is a spiritual boot camp. You know what I'm saying? When you go through boot camp, you know, you got to get that, that weakness. You know what they say? Uh, pain is weakness leading the body. Mm -hmm. So we're going through all this tribulation now. So we can, like the brother said, we can be ready. You know what I'm saying? We can be strong. That's why I'm trying to tell you uh, wisdom and knowledge, man. It's going to be the stability of your times, man. It's going to keep our minds stable, man. Because we, en we endure hardness as a good soldier, man. Right, huh? And we and we attain and, and we're in these scriptures, man. And we got to know you. How about Shemiah Shai ultimately, man? All right, uh, uh, receiving the wisdom, all right, praying unto the Lord, man. All of these things that are, you know, our people think that, you know, oh, that's boring. You know, I don't want to be into all of that, man. Man, you don't know how vital being into these scriptures is in these last days, man. You don't know how vital that is to your, to your, to your survival, okay? Uh, when we finish it real quick? Uh, yeah, you got a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit. It says, they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people. They shall say, the Lord is my power. Yeah, so we're going to call upon the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai when we right. get put in, in certain predicaments, man. All right, we're not going to not gonna trust in our flesh. We're not going to trust in our in ourselves. We're not going to trust in this damn devil. We're going to trust in the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai, man. Okay? And calling upon the name now and when we go through our little troubles, man, this is kind of just a practice run, you know? Right. Calling upon the name of the Lord when we're in certain predicaments, man. You know? Because when we get to the real hell, we, man, you know, we really gonna be having a call upon the name of the Lord, man, in that day, man, because it's gonna be hell and chaos at, at 360 degrees, man. All right, everywhere you turn, it's gonna be tribulation and, and hell going on because the Lord, He has a sore slaughter prepared for these people, man. And you got to think about how many people is out here, man. You got the heathens, and it's a lot, it's a gang of uh, uh, you Israelites out here, man. So the Lord has to. Uh, he has to get rid of all you, man. Two thirds, that's a lot of people, man. Two thirds of our people, that's a lot, man. So the Lord has to really put the spirit on this devil to really come in, man, and gun a lot of our people down, man. Women and children, man, and men, okay? Yeah, I got uh, Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, the name of the Lord, 
she had that Proverbs 1 and 2. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The name, this is Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yeah, the righteous runneth into it and is safe. Who are the righteous in these times? That's us, man. All right? Because we're righteous through our faith, man. That's We're justified. Uh, we're justified. Um, uh, uh, our, we're righteous pretty much because we believe in Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And our faith is likened unto us for righteousness. Just as Abraham, you know. And, and, and uh, read it again. It says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. Yes, the name of the Lord, man, is a strong tower. You think of a strong tower, that's a place of refuge, man. Somewhere you can go into to be protected uh, from all the uh, winds and the destruction that's going on around you, man. And it says it's a strong tower, man. So the name of the Lord, is it, it endures, man. It's going to be useful to you, man. Okay? And uh, like it tells you um, in, in uh, I believe it's Acts, man, Whoever, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. Shall be saved, man, if you call upon the name of the Lord, man. All right? That's you running into that strong tower, man. When, when you run into certain situations and issues uh, uh, when this hell is going on out here, man, we're going to call upon your how about you, shy, man. And he's going to lead us, man. He's going to use his angels, like the scripture tell you, to keep charge over us, man. All right? But as for people who who don't know the name of the Lord, two thirds of our people, who are they, like the scriptures say, man, we're gonna go into Proverbs one, but it also tells you in uh, 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 the book of Judges, man, uh, uh, call upon the name of your guys, man, that you've been praising on this mm. side, man. Mm. You know, call upon those and those guys in that day and see if they'll deliver you, man. Because when you call upon your how about Shmuel Shai, and it's a lot of niggas out there who know the name of the Lord, who, who but aren't aren't uh, walking in the right path, man. So guys like that. They're going to call upon you, how about Shmuel Shai, and ain't even going to be saved, man. Okay? You know? And how much more for people who are people out here who just really don't know? You know, you're going to be calling upon Jesus. You're going to be calling upon uh, uh, Buddha and uh, what's the motherfucker? Allah. All right? You're going to be calling on Allah. And all these guys out here that you worship, man, niggas going to be calling on their mamas in that day, man. <laughs> and ain't none of this going to deliver you, man. Because none of those things hold any real power, man. They're just idols, man. They just sit there. The true living power that we worship is your how about Shmuel Shai, man? The one that's bringing all this hell and chaos to the planet Earth, man. So it's good to get on the Lord's side. If you know somebody's bringing some, uh, this uh, like this type of destruction out here, it's good to get on that that person's good side, man. And that's what we're doing, man. All right, with the heavenly Father, we're getting on your how about Shmuel Shai's good side, man, by teaching His Word, walking in His Spirit, okay, having integrity, having dignity, man. All of the above, man, so that we can be in favor with the Lord when the, when, when, when the Lord brings these things to the earth, man. Okay? Anything else? Did you want me to get that in Isaiah? The, uh, my servant shall eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Get that. This is, this is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus said the Lord. No, I started at 12. Oh, Salah. Mm -hmm. This is Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, will I number you? To the sword, mm. and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter. So whether you like it or not, you're gonna <laughs> bow down to the slaughter, man. Okay? You're gonna bow down to the slaughter, man. Alright, and, and, and the Lord is gonna number you to the sword, man. And the destroy the sword as represents any type of destruction, man. But the, the, the Lord's sword is a so-called white man, you know? And he's gonna use these his martial law troops. Alright, they got all type of guns and uh, military equipment. Okay, they're going to bring out all that, man. You know, it's stuff that they don't show you on TV. It's shit that they don't show you even on these video games, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. They got all manner of ways of, of destroying and killing you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Microwave guns, mm -hmm. Iron Man suits, M-Raps. Yep. He has a, uh, some shit called the Eater, or just eats bodies. What? Just eats bodies, you know? You might be there laying on the ground uh, uh, half dead and shit. And then a fucking eater come over, or meter, whatever it's called, it comes on and just scoop your ass up alive, man, and just eat your ass, man. This devil got slaughter bots. Yeah. He's, uh, uh, uh. Um, super soldiers. Yeah, super soldiers. You know, what I'm you know, he got drones. Show you, oh, oh, man, it shows you in the purge that this devil got drones, man. This whole faction, man, it was crazy. This guy and his whole group, they were going in there to fight the so called white man. But what ended up happening is they was all ready and shit, they had their guns prepped. 
But all the so-called white man did was send in a drone and laid out all his damn crew. He was the only one left, man. God damn. Everybody was, he laid out every fucking body, man. And he said it like, oh shit. You know? That's the type of technology that this devil has, man. And that he will bring upon you, you, you Israelites real soon, man. Okay? Alright. Because when I called ye, ye did not answer. When I speak, ye did not hear. Yeah, and how is the Heavenly Father calling in these last days, man? Through his prophets, man. It tells you in Isaiah uh, 65 that he stretched out his hand. Uh, oh, it's the same chapter. But if we read up <laughs> early in the chapter, it tells you how the, the Lord stretched out his hand all the day long, man. All right? Pleading with our people, man. And he's doing that through his prophets, man. We tell you to come out of come out of America, man, because this place is polluted. All right, it's going to destroy you with a sword of destruction. Come unto me because I'm life, I'm peace, all right, I'm protection, okay? The Lord is pleading with his people, but well, what are our people doing, man? Just slapping the hand of the Lord away every time, man, all right? We're, we're, the Bible holds all the answers that our people need to their issues, man, but they're not taking hold of it, man. But that's okay. It says, but did evil before mine eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So we're out there telling our people that you don't need to be eating pork, stop committing adultery, stop murdering, stop stealing, stop uh, leaning upon the so-called white man, all right? We're telling you all this stuff, but you're still doing evil before the Lord's eyes, man. And we're out there telling you that, look, the re this is that's the reason why you're dying the way that you died, man. That's the reason why the Lord's bringing all this hell and chaos on you, man. It's because you're doing evil before his eyes, man. All right? You're committing iniquity, man. All right? You're transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments, man. When the scriptures tell you that the yoke of the Heavenly Father is not hard, all right? It's, 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 uh, uh, it says uh, um, it's, 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 it's light, man, and it's easy pretty much, man. It's not hard to follow the law, statutes, and commandments, especially if you know that it's going to bring light, bring peace to your people and your nation and your household, bring you order, etc., man, Okay? But our people were just like, I ain't trying to do that, man. I like black culture. I like uh, uh, Mexican culture. I like being a paisa. I like being a, a vato or whatever y'all, whatever the fuck y'all call each other, man. All right? You love this this, this, this vain culture that the so-called white man at the end of the day has given you, man. And you live under it like it's just, you know, it's just, you know, it's just heaven, man. You know? You love America, man. That's the problem with our people, man. But as long as you're here, man, you're going you, you're gonna to continue to die the way you die. You, you know, our people are under these fucking curses, man. So you're getting sick. Uh, your children are dying in the streets. All right? Gunning each other down. All, all this shit is going on with our people, yet they still want to remain here, man. All right? This devil's gunning us down uh, mercilessly in the streets, man, and getting off. Mm -hmm. But niggas are comfortable with that, man. It's like, what's going to be the breaking point for you jakes, man? All right? But the, the, the scripture tell you how the Lord is going to put the spirit on, on our people, man. Because y'all people are docile right now, man. They're completely, they're sleep, they're docile, they're, 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 they're comfortable, man. All right? So the Lord is going to have to really, like, smack the hell out of you, man, and get you to wake up, man, and fight against this devil, man. All right? Yeah, because he, he mentions a lot that our people are very stiff-necked, you know? Right, right. You know, that, that means they're very stubborn, you know? They're, they Jake's hard-headed, you know? And uh, you want me to continue on? Yeah. Uh, Therefore, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, man. Yeah, so the prophets and the servants of the Abbas, you know, Shah, we're going to be good in that day, man. All right? Well, while, while a lot of people are out here suffering, and the Lord is bringing... Judgment upon them, man. All right, he's gonna be guiding us through all of that, man. All right, while you niggas are out here starving, we're gonna be eating, man. Lord's will with those men. We're gonna be eating, man. You all right? We're gonna be eating food, drink, we're gonna drink, all of that, man. You say something? Oh, no. I got a precept. You done with that, bro? Yeah. All right. This is uh, Angles 3 and 2. It says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all your iniquity. Yeah, right. so, yeah, so, like the scripture said, he, the Lord only knows us, man. He only knows the nation of Israel, man. Right. All right? And he and he he's, he he's only gave us his laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Yeah. All right? And since we transgress those laws, statutes, and commandments, he's going to punish us for it, man. Yeah. All right? Just like a, a father and his son, man. Like a father, man. He, he, he only punishes his children. He only punishes his children 
because he loves them, man. Right. All right. So that's why he's saying you out of all the families on the earth, he only knew us, man. That's why he gonna punish us for our iniquities, man. All right, to correct us, man, at the end of the day, man. Because the Lord, he loves his people, you know, but he has to, you got to put that that belt to your ass, so to speak, man. You know, and punish you, man, because you, you're going off right now. All right? Was it? Yeah, that's it. Did you want to go to Proverbs? Yeah, Proverbs 1. This is Proverbs. You want me to start at Wisdom and Christ? Yeah. Yeah. This is Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cry, crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse in the opening of the gates. Yeah, and that's pretty much what we doing when we go out on the streets, man. All right, teaching our people the law, statutes, commandments, tell them to come back to the Lord, man. All right, go ahead. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Yeah, you simple ones. Let's talk about you jets, man. Our people are very simple, man. Go ahead. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Yeah, but it, it said, how long will you love your simplicity, man? How long will you love dwelling in this 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 fucking world, man? In this in, in America, man. In your simplicity, man. Dwelling in black culture, man. And in, in, in pretty much in death. Death, man. Because that's all this shit brings about, man. Go ahead. Hey, I, if I can say this, I can... Yeah, because Jake's simple, man. He'll celebrate all these holidays, you know what I'm saying? They, they love the simplicity of all these holidays, man. They'll be wearing uh, the, these Santa hats, these these idiotic sweaters, you know what I'm saying? Like with Santa Claus and, and, and little elves on it. You know, they look they look dumb, you know? And, and that looks so dumb. Follow <laughs> Yeah, it's just folly. They, they just a, a bunch of a grown men dressed like little kids, man. You know, on Halloween, they be wearing costumes, you know, related to like cartoon characters. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, our people love this stuff. You know, Jay Bo the hardest on the Fourth of July too. He's the hardest American ever here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. The, most high, the Most High call his own people sodish, which means stupid. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. Hey, Jake's simple man. You yeah. know, and uh, yes, it says, "How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge?" Fools hate knowledge, man. The real it's knowledge is from these too. scriptures, man. Uh, uh, knowing the prophecies, man. Knowing the breakdowns. This is real knowledge, man. This is real history, man. This is our our culture. This is our heritage, man. Which that we need to come back to, man. All right. Which is it, it all brings about life to our people, man. Life and peace. We keep saying that, you know. Order, you know, amongst our nation, man. But our people shun are shun this, man. Go ahead. It says, turn you at my reproof. Behold. I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. How is the Lord making his words known unto us? By what we're doing now, man. Prophets. The prophets, man. All right. The word prophet or prophecy means to say before, man. But we're out there. So we're out there saying what's going to happen to this country, saying what's going to happen to our people before it actually happens, man. Okay. Go ahead. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded, but ye have set at naught all my com all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I also will laugh at your calamity, I will mock when your fear cometh. So since our people don't want to see correction, they don't want to receive that reproof, the Lord is going to mock and laugh at your calamities when they come upon you, man. All right, the calamities, man. When your when your children are dying in front of you, man. All right, when niggas are getting gunned down. All right, martial law troops, man, getting shot up, man, getting ate up by uh, uh dogs, man, newly created creatures, man. All right, when our people are here getting uh, are suffering from the famines, they gotta eat their own children, man. The Lord said he's gonna mock you, man. He's gonna laugh at you, man. And he's gonna that's gonna be happening mainly through his prophets, yeah, man. So, yeah, yeah. He's going to be mocking and, and laughing at you through his prophets, man. Because everything that we were telling you that's about to happen, you didn't, you didn't attend to it. You, you decided it was, it was BS. That's okay. Why? Right, well, you're going you're gonna to look stupid when it actually comes upon you, man. Because really, they laughing at us. And so, in return, we're going to laugh at you. Exactly. You get your punishment. But really, they're not even laughing at us. Yeah, they're laughing yeah, at yeah, 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 exactly. You're yeah. laughing at the Heavenly Father, man. That's a big All right. Guy. So the Lord is going to laugh at you through us, man. <laughs> and the Lord is fucking you up, man. Right. All right? You got something, bro? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish 
cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. Mm, when distress and anguish is on, upon your eyes, then you want to call upon the Lord, man. Then you all of a sudden care, man. Then you want answers, you know. That's why the scriptures talk about, are oh, they going to be running up to us, man, during the time of uh, famine of the word? Okay. They're going to be running up to us, man, and, 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 and looking for answers, man. But hold up, man. You saw us out on the streets uh, every Saturday faithfully, man. You saw us throughout Babylon. You saw us in New York. You saw us in Atlanta. You saw us all throughout Babylon and the world, man. But you didn't, you didn't, you didn't bother to come up to and ask us no questions then. Yeah. But now all of a sudden, when your ass is getting, getting ate up, then you want to ask some questions, man. Then you want to be getting you intrigued about what's going on, man. Yeah. Nah, man, it's not going down like that, man. Jake want answers and, and want to uh, uh, do shit at the last minute, man. You know? Want to procrastinate, man. This is a stern, this is a very stern warning that we're giving to our people, man. Yeah, we're letting you, we're letting you know that a, a big ass freight train is coming, man. And you in the middle of, 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 of the railroad tracks, man. Yep. You know, we trying to push you out the way. We trying to scream and let you know that the train is coming. Um, but if you get hit, that's on you, man. I warned you. Yeah, we warned you. We got the blood off of our hands, man. Yep. You know, the Lord ultimately was warning you, man. He was warning you and letting you know these things are coming, man. You know. And if you so, if you get uh, um, caught up in it, man, that's on you, man. The Lord said He gave you a uh, uh, gave you a decision, man. Life or death, choose one. Okay, you you and our people, unfortunately, are choosing death right now. Two thirds of you, all right, and you're not choosing life, man. You know, so. Uh, you so yeah. This is a good for just to end it out on. This is a Romans thirteen and eleven, and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake. Out of yeah. sleep. Yeah, it's mm. high time to wake out of sleep, man. We we are we are at the end of the end, man. We at the very very last days of this devil's society, man. All right, and he knows that. That's why we read early. He's gonna come down with great wrath, you know. So we are at the very very we're at the precipice of this destruction coming, man. World War Three is kicking off, you know. Uh, 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 wickedness is at an all time high, you know. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep, man. Our people are asleep, man. All right? We need to come into this word, man, and get, get this word because it's a quickening spirit, man. It's going to wake you up, man. You know? But ultimately, that's up to you. How about me? I'm shy to do that, man. But now now is the time to wake up out of your sleep, man. Mm -hmm. All right? Because we were all at that point where we were asleep, man, but the Lord through mercy woke us up, man. And now we're out here trying to give the warning to our people as well to wake up, man. Wake up out of this sleep you in, man. Come up out of the bullshit, you know? Some blood can be off our hands. Right, exactly. You know? Go ahead. Yeah. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Mm -hmm. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Yep, cast off the works of darkness, man. All right, being involved in this society, man, this American culture, this Western society philosophies man that our people are into man you gotta you gotta and, and, and all these idols as well you gotta put all that stuff to the side man mm -hmm. okay cast off the works of darkness man all right you gotta gird up your loins and be a man man stop acting like a little ass kid man stop worshiping these these idols stop partaking in these damn holidays man because they're vain man at the end of the day they're very very vain okay and this world is temporal man okay so you gotta come on hey read the last part it says uh, it says, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on the armor of light. Yep, put on the armor of light, man. And notice it says that in the, the light is talking about these scriptures, man, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. But it mentioned that it's an armor, armor of light, man. So this, this, this is what's going to protect you, man, from these demons. It's what's going to protect you from uh, um, um, all of this, this hell. And everything that's coming to America, man, you have it on that armor, man. It's a, it's a shield and a defense for you, man. Okay? What's that you I also got the scripture on the armor of the armor of God and stuff, just to ultimately we gotta put on. Yeah. But, uh, we got this second this is a uh, Ephesians uh one in uh one eleven. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, six and eleven. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wells of the uh wow. of the, the wilds of the devil. For we wrestle not against the flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, 
against the rulers of the darkness of the world. Hey, but our people are out here ass naked, man. Right. You don't have no type of protection over you, man. All right, if your protection is Jesus, if your protection is these idols out here, man, it's not protection at all. All right, that's not armor, man. Okay, that's like uh, hay and wood and shit. That's like paper, you know. And when you know when the fiery darts of the wicked, they hit your ass and they're gonna penetrate, man. All right. Yeah, yeah those idols were made out of porcelain, so are toilets, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Real talk, man. Yeah, so these idols out here, they're not protection, man, at all, man. The real armor that you want to put on, the real iron and the chain mail and the, your gird, your uh, your girdle, man, and your helmet, your, your, your two-edged sword, man, is these scriptures, man. This is the real armor, man, that's going to get you through these, these hard times that's coming, man. Yeah, all right, real talk. Go ahead, finish it off. Verse 12, For we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. And the powers and the... And, and the the rulers of the darkness, the darkness of this world, is talking about the so-called white man, man. He's the one that's bringing all of this stuff, man. He's the, the heavenly father swore. He's the one that's bringing the agenda twenty-one, the Rex eighty-four, King Alfred plan, the plagues and the pestilences, man. Our uh, biological and you know chemical warfare, man. He's bringing all the famines, man. He's the one that's putting all this stuff in place for all hell and and, and, and chaos to break loose here in America, man. What do they call it? The pressure from above, pressure from below? The Galean dialectic. Right, the Galean dialectic, man. He's the one that's putting all these issues in place, man, to cause all type of chaos out here, man. Okay? And that's who we're battling against, man. All right? But we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man, because we have our arm, armor of light, man. We have these, these, the truth, these scriptures, man. Go ahead. It says, it says, uh... Wherefore, take on to you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore having your loins girded about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet showed with the uh, preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, so, hey, so pretty much that's what it, you know, winds down to, you know, mention faith, you know. So that's, hey, at the end of the day, that's what's going to save us, man. By grace are you saved through faith, man. So, you know, you need the armor, you need truth, you need all of that, man, which is, uh, encompasses everything you, you get from the scriptures, man. The wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all that, man, you know. But at the end of the day, you need faith, man, to get us through these hard times, man. You know, faith mainly in the name of your how about Shemiah Shai, man. All right, to get us through the martial law, to get us through the famine, to get us through these bad times that's coming, coming uh, uh, to our people, man. So we're we're crying out, we're crying aloud, and telling our people that this this you know this truth resonates with to hurry up and come up out of this society, man, because these things are about to happen, man, and the Lord is really about to issue some serious judgment upon our people, man. Okay, and if you brothers haven't seen the movie The First Purge. You know, it's, it's a good watch. You know, it's definitely prophetic, man. And it's just something, uh, you know, you can go into, man. You know, to just to, to, to prophesy, man, you know. But uh, with that, man, that's, you know, any more scriptures, we'll close it out. No, I just yeah. want to finish, finish that up in Proverbs. Oh, okay, yeah, you can finish it yeah. yeah. It says, uh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised, they despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Oh, there you go. The word evil means bad times, time, man. Time, yeah. Bad times is coming to America, man. So if you lean upon your how about Shemiah and Shai, you're going to get through those bad times, man. Okay? Uh, that's pretty much it. You want to say something? No, that's pretty much it. Yeah. All right. Come on. So, hey, with that, man, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, 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 Ba'
I'm gonna say Brock and Thigga Howell. Brock and Thigga Howell. Brock and Thigga Howell shot. Brock and Thigga Howell shot. Brock and Thigga Howell. Brock and Thigga Howell shot. 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 Brock and Thigga Howell shot